I have been lonely all my life. I don't know who my parents are. Oh dear, what a travesty. Ahem. <clears throat> I felt completely worthless, and my self-loathing made me feel like a burden to this world. Okay. I didn't realise I'd turned up for a therapy session. I was starving on the streets as always, but then one guy invited me to his house. Yeah, I feel like this guy is an organ harvester. Well, I don't know him at all, but I have nothing to lose. Maybe today is my lucky day, apart from, like, your life, your health, and, well, what health you do have. The Alchemist's House. Great. So he's an alchemist as well, because, you know, they aren't known for severing body parts and putting them into cauldrons to turn into potions, are they? No. I mean, I get it. When you're down on your luck, you can't really turn down help. But I think... Yeah. I think I think I think there are times in life where like certain standards should never be dropped. Okie dokie. Hi. I've been ranting and raving about your, how you're a murderous psychopath and you were standing here the whole time in your stonewashed leggings. Right. Let me just let me just grab you. Welcome to my house. Poor boy. I hate the people outside. They are all mean. Like you, I also lost my family. I also had a very tough time. Well, good thing you have me now. You can stay here as long as you want. Could you just back up a little bit? C could you stop smiling as well? You grim-faced. Oh, God. There was so much wrong with everything that I just saw and heard that I honestly cannot even begin to start communicating it. Right, what's in my journal? Oh, gosh, this again! I know following stranger isn't the best idea, but I don't want to die on the street. He is pretty nice, but sometimes his face is creepy. Really? You look at this lovely face, the face of this charming good Samaritan, and you see anything other than a murderous lunatic? Really? Good for you. You have a better disposition than I do. Okay, so I downloaded this game ages ago, and I've completely forgotten what it's about. It could be about solving puzzles, or it could be about tap-dancing leprechauns, for all I know. Either way, we're gonna... Ugh. Gosh, why can't I just be free of this man? Mmm, nice chicken. Yeah, suddenly... I, oh, gosh, every time I look at you, you somehow manage to get worse. What is wrong with your neck? I'm not going to grope you again, because the last time I did that, you, you took the wrong message. And I know I just groped you and all, but still, that is no excuse to... What? It's very cold here. The nice man should know what to do. What are you blabbering on about? It's really... Yes, it's called put on a jumper. It's not rocket science, is it? Right. Bedroom. Is this my bedroom or is this somebody else's bedroom? Is this the bedroom of the last person he killed? Or is this the bedroom of the last person who left this hotel? Because having one pillow is frankly horrible. Why am I so short? Why is it... Seriously, what is it in games about there being weird scaling issues with the furniture? It's like, the furniture is always tiny or massive. It's never just a normal height. But never mind. Let's grope the back of this man's I'll head again. I'll serve us some food. Oh, how kind of you. We don't really need to do that, given the fact there's already food on the table. But who am I to complain if you're going to give me free stuff? It will take some time. You can go to the fire and warm yourself up. We're already at the fire, you great goose. Oh, it would be great if you could add some wood to the fire. Would you sit on the chair properly, for goodness sake? It's not rocket science, is it? Um, I, 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 I really don't want to be involved with fire, but it's blue. That wasn't here before. Oh, it disappeared. I suppose I'll just get on with my life then, won't I? Um, kitty aunt. I don't really want to be involved in handling this man's wood. I really don't want to mess this up. Maybe I should try the one by itself. What, just one log? Alright then. 
definitely not going to use as a cudgel to smack him over the back of the head. I'll serve us some oh, food. shut up. Put the fire, put the wood in the fire, put it in the fire. Oh, goodness, I don't think this is going to be enough. All right, fine, I'll go on a quest and find a bit more wood then, shall I? Get out. What do you mean you don't want to mess it up? It's a pile of logs. It's hardly kitty on the number of... I never realised how many various different words used to describe various bits of dead tree have many other connotations. But never mind. I can't find any other pieces of wood to lay my grubby mitts on. I'm not allowed up here either. So, um... I, I, I don't quite know how to put... Oh, I'm supposed to press 1 to access items in my inventory, aren't I? I forgot It will that. take some time. Yeah, yes, yes, put, the put, the, fire put the... And warm uh, yourself up. Put the wood in the fire. Put, put the wood in the fire. Get out. Baby, this is why your family left you, and people think you're a lunatic, because you don't know how to do really simple tasks, like putting bits of wood in fireplaces. I mean, seriously, not that difficult, is it? Oh, do you want me to jump over the fire? Right. Yes, I think you actually do. No, you don't. That still doesn't seem to be enough for you. Despite the fact that I've now set my socks on fire. Good, they were the last prized possession from my grandmother I own. I can, um... I'll now climb on top of this guy's face, I suppose. With, with, with his wood in my hand. Oh, goodness, and now I've managed to get myself stuck and such like I can never leave this place ever again. Oh, hooray, it's finally happened. Wonderful. Not a moment too soon, might I add. Kitty Hunt, the inertia on this character is unbelievable. Right, come on. Climb onto the turkey's burned bum, and then climb on top of this guy's face. It's honestly not as complicated as I'm making it sound. <laughs> Kitty Hunt. I'll serve us some food. Ah. Oh. You know what's just struck me? I think there's another fire in here. Ah, oh, yes, there is. Uh, maybe, 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 just, just, just putting, just putting this out there. Maybe they wanted the wood in this fire. Yes, they did. Right. Right. What would you like me to do next? Since it would seem I am now your indentured slave. I'll serve us some food. Yes, you said that previously. I'll serve us some food. Okay, so I'm not wishing on about the fireplace anymore. Um, okay, so now that I've warmed it up, am I supposed to sit at the table, perhaps? Um, toast my bum on the fire, so that I can, um, then go upstairs, which is apparently some sort of freezing cold environment. Yep, let me just toast me, toast me tootsies in here. Right, now that I am thoroughly warmed up, I can now go upstairs and invade this man's privacy, can't I? Yes, I actually can. Hi, friend. What under the sun are you? Despite being the world's least child-friendly plushie. Right, I've got this thing now. Um, any new journal entry? Yes, smiley face, blue fire, it disappeared. Well, it looks pretty spooky. Yes, which kind of implies you shouldn't have just grabbed it. I slightly regret invading this man's... Um, home. Never mind. What? There are food and drinks on the table, and the fire again. Hmm. Not sure I should drink this weird, fiery blue concoction here. It's probably full of rehypnol. Right. Do you have anything else to say? I'll serve us some food. No, 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 no. You, you, you really are a one-hit wonder, aren't you? Right. Can I throw this thing in the fire? No. That makes me sad. Okay. Let's drink from the chalice. The doll really creeped me out. I don't know if I should trust this guy. Should I trust him? Switch the cup or trust him? Mm, all right. In life, you will learn right, there are many things that are out of your control. Others will confuse your goodwill for evil. Not but me, though. I persevere. I read that as perversion Sometimes at first. I need to clean my I head. Blame myself, but it didn't change anything. I had to Didn't carry change your uh, excellent ventriloquism skills either. Cheers to a new, better life. Also, drink while talking. This man has a lot of skills with his mouth, doesn't he? Gosh. 
Ever heard of like a knife and a fork and a plate? Never mind. He seems to be sleeping. I should get some rest as well. You call this sleeping? He's clearly not sleeping. He's clearly vomiting. Alright, fine. I suppose I'll go to bed with my new plushie. Which definitely isn't going to bite me in the night. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm like, am I groggy? Am I going to wake up and discover the reason behind my increased heartbeat? Um, and, and, and be awake, but, uh, have all of my muscles paralyzed? No, I'm painting this in a very, you are dead. Yeah, yeah, uh, somehow I'd, um, I kind of worked that much out. Right, oh, Gideon, don't make me sit through all of this again. No, I'm sitting through all of this again. Okay, but you don't have to, because you have the advantage of jump cuts on your side. Okay, okay. So this time we're gonna switch the cup and see what happens. In life, you will learn there are many things that are out of your control. Others will confuse your goodwill for evil. But I persevere. Yep, right up Sometimes until the end. Try to on before long. Blame myself, but it didn't change anything. I had to carry on with life. Cheers to a new, better life. I do find myself wondering, did the developer make his character model look so weird on purpose to make him an odd and disturbing um, individual? Or was it just like purely a quality control issue? Right, okay, so he still seems to be um, vomiting, just as before. Um, I can't put this in the fire. I can't. Can I give it to him? No, I can't give it to him either. Can I drown it in some booze? No. Okay. So, um, maybe it wasn't whether I switched the cup or not. Maybe it was something else that um, dictated my death. Oh, I thought it was a mouse hole then. I was going to shove the plushie in the mouse hole. Again. Not a phrase I thought I was going to say today. But um, let me see whether, I don't know, maybe the door upstairs is now open. Nope, this is still locked. And I presume the front door is as well. Yep. Okie dokie. Off to bed I go. Okay. So we're going to have the same groggy fever dream as before. The question is, is it going to end with a long metal insertion into my gut? I have been really nice to you. I think there is actually voice acting going on. I can barely hear it. Maybe it's just a whisper. Yes, you were nice. You invited me into your home. And yet... Oh, well. Yeah, because when I did, you killed me. And um, looking at what I see now, I feel like my lack of trust in you was entirely justified. Am I supposed to be running away? No, I think this is a cutscene. Okay, so instead of throwing myself out of the window like anybody with a brain would have done, I'm sat here watching him convulse. Do you want your plushie? Would your plushie make things better? My kitty aunt. Like, seriously, mate, just jump out of this window. I don't care if it's the middle of winter. It's got to be better than this. Hey, here, look at me. What are you... Oh, hello. What? What? You did well. That guy was really dangerous. Evidently. Um, you should find the key and go, upst go to the upstairs with me. Not convinced I trust you either, mate. You weird blue flame. But all right. I oh, hello. Believe me. <laughs> Again, I'm not sure I really ought to. But, uh, okay, I suppose gotta be worth a try right all those stories my old grandmother used to tell me about blue flames that would appear after drinking long long into the night with hang on a minute where is the door it has disappeared excellent question i must have drunk more than i realized um 
Yeah, streaking long into the night with random weird-faced strangers who just invited you into their home. My grandmother told some weird stories. Um, I found the key. All right. Yeah. She always ended those stories by saying, remember to believe the magical blue flame that definitely isn't a drug-induced hallucination. Ah, oh, excellent. The torture chamber. I knew it would be here somewhere. Just had to wait long enough to find it. It looks like somebody's first star road, or first road R, or whatever, whatever the phrase is. I don't know, I haven't played that game in a long time. Um, down old fort in Skyrim. It's, um, okie dokie. Still got my demon plushie. Let's see, I think it seems very... Hang on a minute, what's that? Hmm. I don't think I'm going to stick around to find out. Oh. Good. Well, that made it a little bit harder for whatever under the sun that was to murder me and bite my bum off. Excellent. This is less the alchemist's house and more the alchemist's castle. And now the alchemist's lava incubator, I think, would be the only way of describing whatever under the sun it is I'm looking at. Oh, gosh. Oh, a box full of treasure? Full of lovely, lovely treasure. I suppose that's going in there now. We use this to lock it. Nope, okay. That's going in there, I suppose. Let's open here and go into the dungeon. <laughs> oh. Hello. Were you the real demon all along? A very cool animation, actually. Why are you dancing? Why are you making noises like the duplicates and oxygen not included? And what? Oh gosh. Just don't start dancing as well, alright? I am so confused. Oh, don't tell me you've only just noticed him. Oh, okay. The massive, veiny demon baby has his bloodstained plushie back. Hooray! So, can I leave my hiding spot with the blue flame now? What is this channel reducing me to? Seriously. Okay. One more cutscenes in this than you'd usually have in this kind of thing, but, um... It's like a baby trog from the pit. No, I don't think I am supposed to be doing anything. Oh, that's a shame. I thought he was going to moonwalk. I think he was just going to have so many, as many show business skills as his, as his favourite cuddle toy does. So, okay. I've left my offering for the crazy demon. And as soon as my character stops crying like a little baby... Oh, there's a little bit more to the game. Okay, then. Monster. Baby. <laughs> Big question marks. And surprisingly good drawing, given the uh, the uh, terror, which presumably would have been within me. Oh, he's left it behind again. Should I take this as well? No, I can't take it with me now. Okay. Back on the trail of the blue flame again. We go. Hello. Hello. I have no idea what I'm looking at. None at all. It reminds me vaguely of the um, the big weird masses of, of fleshy monstrosities we saw in that lab at the end of the forest. Right. Okay. I was expecting that gas to do something like knock me out or make me start hallucinating even further, but um... And now we have to say hello to that girl from the ring. Okay. I'm just gonna scoop my boot past her like nothing ever happened. I am. I mean, I get confused in every game I play, don't get me wrong, right? Like, I get it. It's a thing at this point. But, um. Since when did a game about date rape and alchemists and demon babies have to involve. and a lot of cutscenes have to involve a. A, a, a crib warehouse since when did 
since when was that a natural ingredient in this recipe for madness? Ah, it's Ring Girl. She's looking after her baby. What is wrong with your hands, madam? I don't wish to make personal comments, given the fact that we've only just met. Not to imply I particularly wish to make personal comments about people I've known for a long time. But, um... Yeah. Why do you seem to have flippers? But you can hold a tune, so I suppose I'll forgive you. Kids, he aren't, madam. You need to understand that children are sometimes unreasonable, but that's no excuse to punch them. Oh, hello. Do you want to smooch? No, you don't want to smooch. You wish to bludgeon me horribly. Giddy aunt. I guess she's a little insensitive. I forget that I have a much thicker skin than most people do. Right. Is that it? Or is there yet more? Oh, gosh. I, um, I don't really want to be this close to you, mate. Oh, you're bleeding out in this, um, do I not? I, I, I can certainly think of somewhere you can go, madam, and I'd say it, except you already seem to be there. You seem to have a whole manufacturing line of crazy um, demon plushies. Such a smart boy, my dear. But my house here has its own rules. Okay. And those rules are not mercy. What, against people who have natural figures? I walk through the valley of death. I have collected the souls. Yeah, I, I, I've read about that attraction of TripAdvisor time and time again. I've stored them with dogs. Right. Oh, isn't my baby so adorable? That's one word for it. It was experimental, but successful. Yeah, it disappointed you, and now its blood's, now, the blood is pouring out all over the floor. That would imply you were born in the first place, madam, and I don't think that is the case. I think you've just always existed. Oh, gosh. Yes, the greatest alchemist. <laughs> you don't seem to be much of an alchemist, you seem to just be more of a pyromanic demon. But, um, okay, I I'm not one to. Who are you? Oh, you're the bloke from before. Are you the servant who disappointed her? You were talking about? Oh. Okay. And now I'm just going to run away. Oh, with the demon baby! Yes. Good idea. I... Sorry, I'm witnessing a slight domestic dispute. This would have been quite fun if we could have actually played this bit of the game, but never mind. Who needs to play games? We should watch them instead. Although, mind you, mind you I have actually just just noticed the irony in that statement, um, given given the nature of the entertainment industry that I'm in. But never mind. That woman really tried to kill me. Ugh. That's at least it's all done, I guess. That's what you say after you do the washing up, not after you survive an attempted murder. Right. So, is there, is there anything else? Is there any more insanity? Oh, the blue flame! I, I'd forgotten about the blue flame. We never did get to the bottom of that mystery. Mind you, we didn't get to the bottom of the other dozen mysteries that have thrown themselves up in this, in this experience. Right. I don't know how many drugs you're on, Lisa, but I think you need to tone it down a bit, because seriously, there is some freaky stuff going on in your mind, and you really did pour all of it into this game, and, um... 
Well done. It's it's mad, it's insane, it's crazy, it's wild, it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, and it made my head hurt. But, um, it was varied, it was different, it was interesting, um, I'm not... Yeah. I'm glad that it's incorporating a little, like a couple of cutscenes here and there, which is a nice little change, because uh, most indie games don't go for any of that. So that's nice. I just feel like when pretty much like the last third of the game is cutscenes, it, it, it does spoil it a tiny bit. Um, but, um, yes, I am honestly not sure what to say about this. I feel this is one of those things you have to make up your own mind about. My words aren't going to, um, aren't going to make any difference. But anyway, that was the alchemist house. Okay, so good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Off Peak, which I believe is a sort of environment exploring short train tracked weirdness that I found. Oh goodness. Excuse me. Plan service change. Notice, 11pm, 5am, Tuesday, citywide subway service suspended. Consider transportation alternatives. <laughs> I'm a dinghy, a rowboat, or just swimming. Is this water, then? Because it doesn't look like it. And, um, what's with the demon stag and the massive jellyfish? I have no idea, but I have other questions. Like... What is going on with your face? And every other part of your existence is many a question people have asked me. Well, look who it is. Any, oh, no, always click to advance dialogue spoken at you. Oh, that's lovely. I'm really spoken to, I mean spoken at. Slow subway. I'm not surprised. The city is too much sometimes. And I know you want to get on the train to Roatan. Well, you're in luck, my friend. I have a train ticket all ready to go. Marcus whipped it up. Good old Marcus. Such a... Such a gentleman. I'm not going anywhere, so it's all yours. But I screwed it up. Again, the train tickets in tatters. The pieces fell out of my jacket and scattered around the station. Believe me, I know train tickets aren't cheap these days, but if you find the pieces, I know you've got to catch that train. I believe in you. And the people you meet here, they won't be able to help you directly, but they still may want to talk to you. Others, maybe not. In either case, you may have found musings insightful or not. The circus. What? The way they treat those giants, they're just happy to take the circus money, all that time and energy spent will waste, all the people think I'm a huff because the circus doesn't ask me to perform, what are you blabbering on about you lunatic a born to, I'm, I've had it with you. you you are strangely dressed you have a weird face, you have terrifyingly long fingers and a very very strange musical instrument so is my objective in the game to reassemble my train ticket I don't know if you've ever tried to get on a train with a ripped up ticket. Uh, I've never been brave enough to try and do that. You never know what else people might have to say. Yes, I do know what that guy has to say. A load of absolute tripe. And believe me, I know verbal tripe when I see it, because I have to listen to it every time I'm editing. Some people talk to you, others may talk amongst themselves. So were you saying I have to look for groups of people and just stand by them and listen? rather than actually directly talking to them. Get close to objects, activate them, use them, or take them. That's alright, I think I can work out how to pick something up. Hmm, nice music. Nice um, floor as well. Seems uh, quite expensive for, uh, for publicness, but never mind. Honestly, it's about time we stop putting up with the status quo, including how loud this music is. Hang on a second. Whoa well onto the status quo. Right, that should be a bit better. What? Do you want to exit the program? Yes and no. Right. Hello, war giddy aunt. You have some interesting things going on in your life. And your shoulders. Do you want to talk? No. You kitty aunt. Why is everyone in this place so weird? You actually look vaguely normal. I mean, you don't stand normal. And, and, and there's something weird going on with your waist. But other than that, my kitty aunt. Are you the police officers in this in this place? You just workman. My kitty <laughs> I have absolutely no words to describe what under the sun is going on. Th th this place is absolute madness and insanity, and I'm enjoying it greatly. 
My giddy on to push. I'll push this, yeah, definitely. Oh, oh giddy on. And now we're going into an art gallery, I suppose. Uh, giddy okay. Okay, some highly multicolored people with a horrible disease of black dots have put on some vaudeville hats and started doing acrobatics along with these contortionist little lions. Is this the circus they were talking about? Because I could believe it. Okay. So, this is very bright. It's like a shopping mall crossed with a rave. Or a whale. A blue whale. Okay. So, grab a ticket piece. Yes, please. Press I to hide and show this ticket. So can I... Will that, like, show me how much of the ticket I've managed to construct? Ah, oh, a big shroom! I think somebody was on some big shrooms when they designed this game. But never mind that. So is the ticket going to be spread out around this mall, for want of a better word? And I need to find all the individual pieces, and different people can give me clues as to precisely how many drugs I'm on at the minute. Um... I get a distinct imp like, <laughs> see I look at this and I think, hmm, a massive man playing a massive piano, playing some bark. Yes, with his feet, whilst these people look on. His allotted playtime was 15 minutes ago and he hasn't even warmed up, his music book is still closed. Art takes time, my friends, calm down, yes, quite. Um, so I look at this, yeah. And I think this is weird, but I get the distinct impression that time and time again throughout the playing of this game, I'm going to think to myself, this is weirder, and yet I didn't think it could be weirder. So, somebody combined Super Mario Land Mo 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 Monopoly on this pleasing table uh, rug game in this massive aquarium full of massive fish. And, um, oh, there's Demon Mickey Mouse, and, and Demon Mario, oh, whole gang's here, and Demon Nemo, lovely stuff, kitty, <laughs> kitty, this place is a bit weird, do you people have anything to say to me? It's a little weird, really? Um, what, wasn't he Barco's right-hand man, something must have happened. I read there was a falling out. Where? On the Pizza Gossip blog? Barco's a known... I don't have time to read all of this. What broccoli is its highest standard in pizza? If you put broccoli on a pizza, you have a severe problem going on in your life. Can I eat a pizza? Yay! Please allow me to um, quickly obtain obesity. Please tell me there's an achievement for eating every single slice of pizza available and not paying for any of it. I better have this ticket. Yay! So it doesn't look like the ticket's massive. I imagine there's only about three or four different pieces to, be, uh, to find. It's one of the I have certain things on my mind. Is it my imagination or am I moving very slowly? Oh no, I'm moving fine, sorry. I thought the obesity was starting to get to me and my legs were about to explode. Really? That's not an achievement? You don't get an achievement for eating this man out of his business? You just ate all my pizza. I have nothing to say to you. I don't blame you, but uh, I have something to say to you, and my word is fashion, and your lack of it. I mean, I want to talk, but seriously, zebra print shoes? My giddy aunt. Can I eat your pizza as well? Yay! You're in trouble with security. Pizza consumer. Connoisseur, even. Yay! I ate all the pizza in the world. I'm so proud of myself. I mean, I don't blame my character, because, you know, I made him do it. And secondly, pizza was delicious. So how could I honestly blame anybody? So... The terrible trins are here. Do you have anything to say to me? No, nope, nothing at all. Just tell me their heads don't swivel 180 degrees, because if they do, I'm going to be so freaked out. Not quite 180 degrees, but not far off it. Um, I'm waiting for a train as you kiss your phone. What? I'm having ramen? Uh, it's great to hear. I bought some new sheet music for you. Yes, the clerk told me about a difficult piece. I think you'll learn it in a few weeks. I like difficult music. 
y yes, yes, okay. That's actually the most normal conversation we've had so far, and yet I still find it confusing. So, board game design. I can think of many ways to design a, board, a game that would make anybody bored very, very quickly. Um, hello, what's with the glowing... whatever under the sun this is? So, Luke has been looking for his ticket pieces, hmm? No matter how many tickets markets gives him, Luke can't bring himself to leave here. Well, considering your situation, I might be able to steer you in the right direction if you're so inclined. I know Luke likes to frequent the fine dining establishments here, even though the merchants would rather he stay far, far away. But he's been chumming with Marcus forever, so they put up with him. I overheard that Luke snuck out of a rather long and drawn-out board game at Seard's Bar. Okay, so I think we've got the one at the... Um, the food. The question is whether we can now find the bar. So that's the train station, I think. Or is this the board game they were talking about? It certainly looks a bit like a board game. Um, but a board game made up of different constituent parts of a board. Which is a bit of a novelty. But, um... Okay. A hipster in a sailor's outfit, who's had one of his arms lopped off, is trying to deep throat a foursome of snakes. Good for him. Okie dokie. Let's see what we've got over here. Is this a greetings card company? Hello. Someone dropped off these records a few days ago. Oh, it's music. My apologies. Here's another ticket piece. Okay, so there's probably like, I don't know, three more? I don't know. Um, I'll have these ones, and these ones, and the Illuminati ones, and the John Wayne Gacy ones, and the, what was his name, Salvador Dali ones, and the, these ones, I don't recognise any of these names. Um, is that a guitar? A piano or a toothpick? I'm honestly confused. Um, Rainbows in the Sky, yes. What shall the end be? Uh, looking at music currently, probably not very far away. Uh, something spooky, some big eyes. They're very boring pictures, I don't have any um, interesting to say about it. More weird pictures. Something from the Old West. Give me love. Uh, I can't see what that says, but um, no, thank you. Buy me dinner first, for goodness sake. Something that is extremely 70s. Something else is extremely 70s. And something which definitely isn't very 70s. Um, I'll have all of them. You come into the possession of a worrying amount of records. <laughs> replace that with CDs and uh, replace this one with my mother and you have a sentence which actually could be said at some point. Um, you're going to have to pay up one way or another. I mean I, can th I mean, I can think of one way I could pay you back, but to be honest with you, I think that's um, going to be more of a pay up for me. How about I have these ones? You've taken all of my records. Yes. You're going to have to pay up one way or another. I don't want to, though. I'm, I'm, not, I'm going to run away. Yes, I am. Ah, oh, a little girl taking her rubbish bag and her spider for a walk, and a massive cat has decided to attack them both. That common occurrence. I'm so glad that art is relatable. I think that's the problem with art, is you can't relate to any of it. Or at least I can't, anyway. You people are all very grim, aren't you? Frankly, I don't blame you. If I was that ugly, well, it would be an improvement on my current situation, but that's not the point. So is this, I'm guessing this is the circus, since this has lots of weird and wild animals in it. Giddy art. More strange and mysterious art. I like that, it's a little bit odd and surreal, a little bit like an optical illusion. Hmm, a safety pin with a skull. Somebody having a bit of a cry. Giddy art. At least it's a little bit more relatable. And now somebody who looks like they signed the constitution has bread with a horror movie. Okay, I, I don't know whether the art is all original to the game. I would assume so. Oh, uh, charming. What's, what, what, why are you, why are you fondling this man's back skull? Why are you doing that, madam? I hope this is a third date, at least. Kitty art. The standards of kids these days. Yeah, I don't know if all the art is original to the developers. I like that. I like that a lot. I want that. I actually want that piece of art. I don't know if all the art is original, but I would assume so, because it seems so freaky that if it wasn't original, I would have seen it somewhere else already. But, um... Oh, wow. I can see it from the top. Ugh. I don't like that. Okay. Let's keep having a little look around. I don't think it was daylight when we started. I don't know whether the time of day passes. 
as we sort of move along, or whether I've um, been spending too long. She doesn't know. I'm waiting for her. You're going to murder her? Uh, she could enter from anywhere. This is the best place to keep a lookout. Or alternatively, you could text her and just say, like, meet me by the glory hole or something, you know, a nice, easy-to-find location and save you looking, but never mind. Waiting a long time. She me she passes through the station about this time every day, but I never seem to find her. Red hair in an orange dress. Could spot her from anywhere. And yet, if by some unlikely chance you meet her, please don't tell her I'm looking for her. Why not? In fact, you never saw me. Maybe this is why you can't find her. Because you're just a bit of a lunatic. Right, never mind. Yay! We're much, much closer now. I think we need about another two pieces. Okay, what do you do? Okay, okay, get to yacht. This place is very, very weird. Ah, excuse me. Ah, oh, excuse me, I made a wrong turn. Let me just go and hide in this corner and cry. A lot. I can't jump through here, can I? No. Would you kindly go away? Oh, gosh. I don't think there's where I can go here, is it? I think I'm in a dead end. I think I'm going to have to try and surpass them. Yep. I have no other alternative. I can either stay here forever and join this woman in her quest to observe the red-headed woman in red dress, or I can, um... Deal with this situation. I guess this is the one I'm dealing with. What do you have? You, you, you have a thing. You have a, a buffalo skull. Ah, more shrooms. Great. Do I still have my ticket? Yes, I do. Good, 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 good. So, um, I'm here now. whoop de doodle I've got absolutely no idea what just happened. I'm guessing I took some psychedelics or something? It's weird, because these things usually start with mushrooms and end with dead bodies, but this one started with a dead body and ended with shrooms. But never mind. Can I get another tip off of you, please? Can I have this? No. Um... Yeah, you mentioned something about the board game, likes the music... Uh... I spend a lot of time down in the subway, but I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, no one sees me down there, but the maintenance people can hear those lap steel whales. What phrase? Okay, so you're maybe trying to tell me that down by the train tracks there's something? Okay, my voice is getting a little hoarse, so I shall uh, spare you the horror of having to listen to me, unless we discover something a bit weird, which looking at that we probably will. But, um... Give me a few minutes to have a quick look around here and see what I can find. And now we've walked into one of Google's data server rooms? Because that's the logical thing you'd find behind a, uh, a train station, isn't it? So is this like a shortcut to get me access to somewhere else? Ah, is this the bar with the board game? Ah, here we go. That's a very small piece. I don't feel like they needed that piece, but never mind. What? You, what? I really think I'm doing badly here. What? You're doing better than me, for sure. I'm totally lost. So am I. All you need is to place your worker and spin the big gear. The beauty of this game is all in the gear and planning ahead. I feel like I'm doing my taxes. I feel like my brain is bleeding out my ear. Hi, friend. The game looks pretty arcane, at first. People decipher them and play through them, and then they're done with them. They can't settle on what they like, it's all about what's new. Me, I like playing a few games and really exploring them. I rinse my games. But maybe they aren't all brand new experiences, just old ideas repurposed. Are you trying to tell me something about game design? Because I rant about game design all the time on this channel. <laughs> Oh my giddy, I don't even want... Why is there such a difference? I mean, I'm glad that we live in such an accepting society that lets dwarves and giants live together in perfect harmony. That's lovely. Oh, hello, Doctor Doom. Odd character placement, but never mind. Um, yeah, we've ended up down here again. Um, I'm not going back up there. <laughs> going up there was dramatic enough once, I'm not going through it again. Um... 
Yes, the train tracks are probably where we want to go. Or possibly that. That might looks like that looks more like a subway than that does. So possibly it's down here. What was I even talking about? Oh yeah, ranting about game design. Something I do a lot, and I get the distinct impression that possibly they're trying to say something with that. Maybe they are. Maybe they're not. I have absolutely no idea. What do we have here, though? This looks like another piece of the um, piece of the puzzle. Yes, here we are. This is the music box, I'm guessing. Um, some with a violin. Some, yep, this is all just music. Um, you're going to have a conversation that is going to go a bit too fast for me to look at. One of you is very short, one of you is very tall. Both of you, well, they're actually, you look normal. Actually, both of you look normal. You're just slightly, um, slightly odd heights. But uh, let me take all of this because I like buying shops lock, stock, and barrel. Yep, all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this, every single thing. Lovely picture of a rose, the joy of something, the numpty dumpty, and the selected duets. Sheet music librarian. Yep, I've had absolutely everything. Are you going to complain about the fact that I've taken all your stuff? No, you're just going to shake your head disapprovingly. Okie dokie, let's go and have a look in the subway. Yes, subway, here we go. So where's the ticket piece going to be, I wonder? Around the back, perhaps. Yeah, here we are in this lovely um, this in 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 in, in the, oh, sorry in this, what whatever this is. I don't know whether it's a jazz bar or a drug den. Okay, so I think there's probably only one more piece left to get. So uh, that's a like ancient African art, modern guitar. That's one way of describing it. I would describe it as an absolutely confusing guitar, but uh, never mind. A tent as well. This, you know, musicians can't afford to live in houses or anything. We wouldn't want to be thought of as normal people now, would we? Okay, so I think we're just missing one more piece. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Trench coated, wearing. I I thought, judging from your shoes, you wore a woman, but um, now I'm not so convinced looking at your face. If you listen closely, you can hear the size of these old trains, long abandoned. They make these slow, deep tones all day. Take any cookie you want. Oh, goody! Another shop that I can buy lock, stock, and barrel. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This is not good for me. I'm going to eat every single cookie. You give me the opportunity to have something in a shop, I'm going to take every single one of them. I'm so glad someone's enjoying my cookies. I love them to pieces, mate. I do genuinely have that problem in shops. I have to be very careful when I go out to make sure I never take my bank card with me because I will spend erroneous sums of money on large quantities of goodness <laughs> that might just be one of my favorite images in the entirety of the universe <laughs> ah giddy aunt if this video makes it onto the channel that will definitely be the thumbnail um my giddy aunt yeah i have to be careful about taking my bank card places because i will spend just large sums of money on on things that i don't need but desperately desperately want so uh, yeah i have to be very careful about that Okay, so ignoring the fact that we just spent the last five seconds of our life looking at a whale's bum, let me talk to this chap at the ticket office again and see if I can figure out which area I haven't been to in terms of finding this last piece of the ticket. Hmm. Okay, so the only hint he's giving is about the fine dining, and originally I thought the fine dining was to do with the pizza, but if that's like a street vendor, that's not really fine dining, is it? That's not what Gordon Ramsay would consider fine dining. So I'm guessing that the fine dining is going to be either this, or maybe that. Oh no, the, no, we already saw the cookies, didn't we? So maybe there's like a, a little sushi bar or something on the far side of this staircase that might possibly constitute fine dining? I don't really know. But, um, seems like the only place I haven't been yet. What have we got here? Yes, here we are. Ah, oh, I think it is literally a, a noodle bar, maybe. Um, I used to be a viola player until I took an arrow in the knee. Yeah, I've heard them all before. Oh, all right, then. Go on, tell the rest of For, uh, Hang on a second. I was first chair, first stand in my county youth orchestra. It's like first chair a position. Like, you're the closest to the, um, conductor on me. Um, I had my eye on the conductor's podium. Oh, I'm going to assume they asked that question. Yes. Um, things being how they are, I sold my viola. But making ramen became a way to channel this old desire. Noodles are my string selection. 
Each strand emits a textual unified something or other. Pork or chicken, the brass selection. The protein in any meal is a powerful and tonally dominant sensation. Woodwinds are the glue of an orchestra. Mates, you have muddled up a hardware store, a Gordon Ramsay documentary, and an orchestra, and you've bundled them all into one. And I'm very confused. Speaking of glue, do I need to work any of the pieces of this puzzle together, or, um, or not? So, um, now that I've reconstructed the pieces, is that enough for this, this, this chap? Am I getting on this train, or am I getting on one of the other trains, or am I getting on the subway? I don't know where I'm going. Well, I'll be. You found the pieces, each and every one. I guess that makes you ready to ride out to Rowertown. I know how much it means for you to get out of here. Mate, you've got no idea. My brain is throbbing. Uh, one thing I almost forgot to ask. Do send your aunt camera my regards. We dated once, a long time ago. Oh yeah, because I love talking to my relations about the people they've screwed. I love doing that. It's my favourite thing to do in my life. I think she. Yeah, yeah. Th 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 this is why I'm sick to death of telling my aunt about all of her past boyfriends that I've bumped into. Because I bump into them as often as I bump into lampposts. Study help. What? What are you talking? Oh. Yeah, don't worry. Oh, no, 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 let's not even go there. Yes. We did it. Uh, I, 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 I think. But where, do you have more to say? Marcus the Bonte. Yeah, you're running this rubbish again. Saying the same thing as before. Um. So, is it one of the trains in the train station then? Oh, it's also just not me I didn't go and see that weird dancing man um, that I showed you before. Okay, so sorry, I've been a complete idiot. Let me get back to the train station. Funky licious music. Hi, friend. You're just living life to the maximum, aren't you? Well, that's at least something I can get behind. Um, I don't know which train it's going to be that I should get on. I'm going to guess this one. Ah, oh, yes, a conductor. I have a ticket. May I please get on the train? Very good. Now, if it is for the train on my right here. Oh. Ah. Oh. You're all the people that I basically robbed, aren't you? Uh, that ticket was meant for Luke, not for you. At first I was okay with this little arrangement, but now I'm having a change of thought. But you think you mean a change of heart? Especially considering your sticky fingers in my merchants here. <laughs> Just taking things with wants and abandon like you own the place, you are a bold one indeed. But now it is time for you to settle up, my friend. And considering your financial situation, we may have to get a little creative. Oh, goodness. Yvan's always saying he needs another hand at the random bar of his. Oh! My hands you want. I'm sorry, I thought you wanted something else. <laughs> Considering what you owe for the ticket, along with everything else you acquired, um, I actually see this as a golden opportunity for you. Guards, kind of remove this vacuum from the train platform. Let me on the train, please! Wait! <gasps> my saviour! The cookie lady? I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh! The circus welcomes you. Oh, she's the lady that the other lady was looking for with the red hair and the orange dress. Well, well, thank you. I'm, I'm very glad to be a valued employee. Oh. Okay. So <laughs> it turns out all the, the creepiest people in the entire place were actually my saviors. Okay. Okay. I've got no idea what this game is about. I'm not going to go on my traditional rant about general um, game design and, and, and all that kind of stuff. I am just going to state that this game makes no sense whatsoever. I have no understanding of what's going on. I did quite enjoy it though, and the art is quite impressive. It's it's weird and it's freaky and it's different and I very much enjoy that so yeah. You're gonna have to come to your own conclusions about this game because I honestly can't make any because my brain just hurts after playing that. <laughs>